Hello everybody, welcome to the first test for electrician's cruise jobs. Question number one. How should a voltmeter be connected to a load in order to measure the voltage across it? In parallel, both in series and in parallel, cascaded in series. The correct answer is A, in parallel. Question number two. Is polarity significant or important for electrolytic capacitors? No or yes? The right answer is B, yes. Question number three. A battery delivers 12 volt to a bulb. The current in the bulb is 3 amperes. What is resistance of the bulb? The correct answer is A, 4 ohms. Question number 4. Static electricity cannot harm a human because it is a form of a DC current, it is only a small current, of a small frequency, it is a form of an AC current. The correct answer is B, it is only a small current. Question number 5. Rotor of the synchronous generator has 5 pole pairs. Mains frequency used on a ship is 60 Hz. What is the rotor's rotation speed? The correct answer is D, 720 RPMs. Question number 6. Power factor are marked as... The correct answer is B, cosinus phi. Question number 7. A single phase fault during the motor's operation shall cause... A. Short circuit, B. Increasing speed, C. Overload, and D. Motor stopping. The correct answer is C. Overload. Question number 8. Asynchronous or induction machine cannot be used as a compensator, motor, generator, or electric motor brake. The correct answer is A. Compensator. For voltage stabilization and in referent voltage sources, which of the following devices is used? Varpi cap diode, fuse, channel diode, or alternator? The correct answer is C, channel diode. Question number 10. Calculate the current in the circuit shown in the figure. If the voltage source provides 90 watts and R1 equals 30 ohms. The correct answer is C, 3 amperes. Question number 11. The problem with direct or self-standing of an asynchronous motor is voltage increasing, large starting current, small starting current or small starting torque. The correct answer is B, a large starting current. Question number 12. A direct short circuit of battery can cause an explosion, not harm other than a rapid discharge of its energy, the current to drop to zero, or an increase in its voltage. The correct answer is A, an explosion. Question number 13. Which kind of measurement is shown on illustration? Frequency, amperage, current resistance, or voltage? The correct answer is B, amperage. Question number 14. A 12-volt auto battery is rated at 36 ampere hours. If a 100-watt, 12-watt DC bulb is connected across this battery, about how long will this bulb stay lit if the battery has been fully charged? The correct answer is D, 4 hours and 20 minutes. And final question, question number 15. If a material has low resistance, it means it is a poor conductor. The current flows mainly in the form of holes. The current can flow only in one direction. It is good conductor. The correct answer is D, it is a good conductor. That was all for the test number one. Stay tuned for the tests number two and three.